Hello, I'm Render Tom, and this is a quick introductional video for After Effects script DVH Importer. Once you install the script to the appropriate applications, you will find it under Window DVH Importer. Right, so let's load the file. And without taking a deeper look at the settings, let me just quickly change the composition size, do some other stuff, and let's dance. Let's see where it gets us. If you want to abort the script, just press escape and that should do the trick. Alright, so script is done running. Now let's run a quick run preview to see the animation. Boom! That's some nice dancing skeleton here. Haha. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at the settings. Once you load the file, script will read the BBH file's header data and will display some technical information about the file, like number of joins. Uh, this is basically the number of layers that will be created in the timeline. Uh, duration in frames, 222, and frame rate of the composition. Bear in mind that After Effects does not support frame rate greater than 99. In that case, you can always set it manually to something else. Check BVH file. This option will run the deep scan of the file to see if it's compatible with this version of the script. Uh, I would definitely recommend you to run that check before you actually build your skeleton for the first time, unless of course you are sure that this particular BVH file is totally fine. And also in cases where something goes wrong or After Effects starts popping up some crazy errors or something, just run the check to see if that file is acceptable. Boom! File check passed. I knew that! In case you want to change the frame rate, that's the place to go. If you don't want to load all 222 frames, define the custom animation range right here. Create neutral pose at the beginning of animation. We'll create a rest position of the skeleton without any motion data deformations applied to it. So at time 0, 0, 0, no deformations. And at time 1 frame, motion data deformations take place. So if you are planning to rig your skeleton, this option should definitely be on. Force header pose and force motion data to the center of the screen will position your skeleton to the dead center of the screen. If these options are off, then, you know, your skeleton might be somewhere here, somewhere there, somewhere, somewhere where you will never find. So this option will force it to be in the middle of the screen. Composition size. Well, easy enough. Skeleton scale factor. Well, that's a little bit tricky one, because it depends on the world scale of your BVH file. In this case, 300% works just fine for me. But if I left it at 100, then the skeleton would come in a little bit too small for me, so... Of course, I can always come back to the timeline and scale the skeleton right here. But this will also scale my solids. Well, that's an option. No, you can always choose. On each joint, create solid or null. Simply enough, I have solids right here. If I choose nulls, then there would be nulls. Dimensions define the size of the solid. Anchor point defines the position of the anchor point of that particular solid also. Add circular mask. In this case, well, it simply adds a circular mask to rectangular solid, so it looks like a circle. Easy enough. And connect joints with the beam effect. This creates those beams. So that's it, guys. Happy dancing, everybody, and thanks for watching my tutorial. See you later. Cheers!